Hi there, welcome to my channel and this tutorial will be primarily on footnotes from importing Microsoft Word documents into Affinity Publisher 2. Let's get going. All right, so we've come to the end because we only have three chapters. Now, let's close your section manager. If you need to open it, it's there with that little icon down there, section manager. All right, so it's closed. We're pretty happy with it. Front matter, background introduction, general introduction, biblical, blah, 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 blah. There it is. And drag that out and you can see the names if you really want to. Right, just close them, close it off. And there we have it, our book. Our little book is all right if you, uh, on a Mac, if you uh, press the tab key, which is a little arrow and a line, the, the line, uh, the arrow pointing straight on the line, it will, oops, I've gone and done something wrong, yeah. All right, I'm actually not going to do that right now. You deselect everything. Don't select anything. Press the tab key, it removes all your tools and tabs and everything. Uh, go back, press it again, and rem uh, deselect all your lines, uh, your guidelines and margins, and you can have a good look at your book, just to see, this is what it looks like when it will be printed. You can see your footnotes all over the place, all the numbering is there, we've got a bit of a problem there that would have to be fixed, but I'm not doing it for this tutorial. And so there we are, we have all our sections, we only, you see now we're going to have to, I'm going to show you how to remove that front matter stuff, because it's put that there, because master A has been allocated. Let's press the tab key again, right here, we're back to normal again, and let's select our um, toggle preview mode. All right, now we go to the thumbnails, and we are going to remove all the allocation of the master A from page one all the way until page six. So click on page one, then click, hold down shift and click on page six. You've selected all the pages in between. Now, just go to any one of the pages, right click on it and say clear masters. There it is. It'll take all these little uh, running headers away. We still have our table of contents. We're going to do that in a moment. All right. Now, that has no master. That's very good. And neither has that one. That's got master B just with the guide line for our beginning of our text for our chapter. Okay. Now, we're going to we are going to have a look here. Book title. Uh, you can change your book title. Like if I have to go over here, I could, oh, what have I done? Double click, select the book title. There it is. Right click, copy, go to master A. Triple click on book title, remove it and command V paste the new title in. There it is and make it semi bold. There we go. We've changed it and it'll update itself where master A has been allocated. All right, now save our, save our project, command S, just so that we don't have a crash. And so we don't, well, if we do have a crash, we and we won't lose everything because we have saved our document over and over again. Right, now, let's keep on going. You'll see when we start uh, our project, you'll notice background introduction, no running headers, no page numbers. You don't want that. Running headers there, running headers there. There are background introduction. That's because we've allocated sections. 
and sections are placed where in the master page we have section name so that section name allocation will grab from this section manager and place the name of each one that's allocated through a master page that's been allocated on the pages. I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but there you have it. All right, let's keep on going. If we have a look at chapter one, a general introduction. Have a look at general introduction, running header. There it is. Let's keep on going all the way down. Chapter two, a biblical theology of the Trinity. There it is. And there is the book, uh, the book, uh, the chapter title allocated from there to the running header. Page numbers underneath, it's all good. Keep on going. When we arrive, we will be chapter three. There it is. So you can see wherever you have it we have our running headers all done everything is sorted out that's good now command s save our document if we need to but i don't think we need to all right now let's go to our table of contents page there it is let's resize our text to 20. say we want semi bold i say semi bold and centered there it is. Put our cursor next to the end of the word contents and press enter. Now I want us to select the normal the normal uh, text style. That's good. Now let's go to our table of contents tab. There it is. Have our cursor blinking there and add table of cons contents insert now look what it says no table of contents entries found but that's fine we want our chapter title chapter title there we go now you see because it's duplicated if we uh, where are we now if I remove chapter title one, like say for instance, I go here to this chapter title, you'll notice it's, uh, what are we doing? Come on, here we go. Now, it says chapter title, not chapter title one. So we're gonna have to remove chapter title one. This is what Microsoft Word is famous for. Let's keep on going. You'll notice the next one has changed. There you go. But because it was allocated as chapter title one. So now we'll just do chapter title. That's fine. Next one. It's all a little bit of maintenance that you need to do as you go along. Same for chapter three chapter title there it is okay In the meanwhile back at the ranch let's go back to our table of contents see our numbers are all wrong let's delete that one let's go and redo this table of contents there it is no table of contents entries found go to chapter title now watch what happens it puts it all all there correctly done but it's allocated TOC to chapter title. We don't want that. We want TOC to entry. All right, it's still written it out in italics. We don't want the italics, but we're gonna fix that. So let's go to paragraph, as long as this is all selected, and uh, no, 
we don't need paragraph yet let's go to let's make sure it's all selected that's fine change this to regular there it is and the sizing is not 16 it will be 12 there it is go to spacing just eliminate the the 10 points in between let's put 10 points in between each one they are going to deselect it okay 10 points let's take the 10 points out that's fine tab stops right this is important there the tab stop has assigned it tab stop right line right alignment which means at the end of the words the number is placed on the right hand side of the page that's exactly what we want now we want to add little dots full stops a whole lot of them to lead up to the numbers now have a look at this tab stop leader is none now we click on this little arrow and we select tab stop leader character watch what it does there we go it's added it all in and so there you go there you have it table of contents is done 100 percent sorted sorted out and so if you had 10 chapters you would see all chapters and numbers underneath each other just as we can see right now all right so our book is taking shape table of contents background introduction this has to be fixed down over there oh, there's a lot of things that are not right i mean look at all of this this is very far away look at all of this here if if i had to just take it back a little bit i don't have to do it like that just do that and then we go here it's fine and then we go here and we say list paragraph hmm uh no we can let's oh let's if you click on list paragraph it makes it even worse click on that one and jump, jump back where it was all right paragraph i just want to do this nicely what's going on here it never gets it right i want that space two millimeters we don't want it 10 points we don't want as we said earlier on uh, my word this is becoming a problemo okay but that's all right we can just do that bring it away take it to say four and make one that way there we go it's a little bit better not perfect but a little bit better we can always do that and then we just add that maybe one more and space between the same styles will be zero there we go and make it a little more a little more that's fine and that is it fine go back there and we update list paragraph and all right so you know if you come over here and you remove your formatting let's have a look i need to remove the formatting of just this over here 
See, I don't want to start messing around with with this lot. We want to. There we go. That's a bit better. Let's remove that just now in a little while. We find bulleted numbers. Ah, this is all wrong. Just doing a few little tiny corrections. I said I wasn't going to mess around with it. But look what I'm doing. Let's keep on going. Uh, Okie dokie. We've got a problem here. There we go. That's better. We'll put a little full stop there. And there's a lot of other things that have to have you know be corrected and whatever else let's do the same over there this paragraph there we go sort it out this is what you do when you sign up for such a job as this uh, so we'd have to go to the first one oh come on All right, and then we go to the last one over there. So list paragraph. There we go. All right. I mean, we can make this a little better than it was. Uh, just for this tutorial, we're just doing a couple of little corrections. Just to make it look a little better than it was. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, I mean, if I carried on doing this, I'd be busy here the whole day. That's what you would sometimes have to do. And we've got more, but... I think I'm going to stop being tempted now after this one. Just going to do that one, set it straight, and it'll be fine. Uh, okay, I might as well just do the last one. How's that? And we just select and allocate it. There we go. And there's a lot more to be done, but our footnotes are fine. It's all there. All the footnotes have been allocated. And now, one more time, we are now going to save our little project, Command S. Right, so we have something that's beginning to re resemble a book. And I uh, see what's gone on down here. All this kind of stuff has been m messed up and mixed up and whatever else. But anyway, that's not going to bother me. That's not in my tutorial for today. But thank you for watching. I hope you've got an idea of the footnotes, a little bit of editing, play around with it, learn the quirks of the software, and you should be fine. Thank you for watching, and uh, look out for some more uh, tutorials. Uh, subscribe. And you'll be notified when more tutorials are added. Thank you very much.